Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z. And I'm here with game two of the, San, the 1987 San Francisco Giants versus the 1979 Atlanta Braves series. As you may recall, San Francisco won the first game 4-3 with a run in the bottom of the ninth of a tie game. And uh, that's what propels them into game two with a chance to take the series right now and advance to the winner circle. Or Atlanta can try to muster what they can and come back and tie the series. That will be difficult, though, because they burned up their ace, Joe ne or, uh, Phil Negro, in game one of the series. Negro pitched well until he hit the sixth and seventh. He gave up a run in the sixth, two in the seventh, and uh, and also one in the uh, one in the ninth. And that proved to be his undoing, and so now they have to rely on uh, Rick Matula to get them a win in game two. So San Francisco is visiting, and we're in Atlanta, so Robbie Thompson will lead off against Rick Matula, and pitching for San Francisco today will be Dave Dravecki. So that's a 3-9. Thompson is out. 0 for 5 on the series so far. Jose Uribe gets a 2-5, which is a single. So Uribe is aboard with his first hit of the series as well. And that's the first hit off Matula. Will Clark is up, and he gets a 1-8, which is a ground ball B. So now Clark is at first, and there's two down. And that was a um, ground ball to the shortstop. And that brings up Kevin Mitchell. And he gets a 5-7, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. And the second baseman for Atlanta is Jerry Royster, and he's a 3. And that's an 8, I believe that's an out. And it is. So he grounds out to Royster at second. And uh, San Francisco comes away with no runs. And that brings up the aforementioned and the man who made the last out, Jerry Royster. And he gets a 2-6, which is a walk. So immediately, they have a man aboard. Dravecki walking him. That brings up Gary Matthews, the Sarge. He gets a 3-9, which is a walk. So Dravecki walks the first two Atlanta batters. Not good news. Not good news at all. And then that brings up Dale Murphy, Mighty Dale. And he's not, that's not a good column. He strikes out. One away, Dravecki strikes Murphy out. Murphy has not been very good this series. And that brings up Bob Horner. And he gets a 6-4, which is a strikeout. So Dravecki bounces back after two straight walks to lead the inning off by striking out two of Atlanta's most dangerous hitters. And that brings up Barry Bonnell. And he gets a 1-8, which is a home run 1-18. And that is a home run. Barry Bonnell going deep off Dravecki. And Dravecki gives up a hit and a home run and three runs there. Bonnell that year only had 12 homers, but he gets one here, and it's a key home run. And Pepe Frias is up, and he gets a 5-6, which is a ground ball to the shortstop, Uribe, and he's a 1. And that's a 9. I believe that's an out, and it is. So, Frias is out, but Atlanta strikes for three in the bottom of the first, and they take a lead just on a three-run homer, just like they did in game one. But in game one, they couldn't hold it. 
So Candy Maldonado is up now for the Giants on the top of the second. That's a 6-9, which is a pop-out to first, one away. That brings up Jeffrey Leonard. He gets a 6-7, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop is a 3, and that is a 1, so that's going to be a single. Jeff Leonard gets aboard with a hit. Second hit allowed by Matula. One down, one on, Chris Spire up. And he gets a 4-8. And that is a single. So Spire's aboard. First hit for Spire in the series. Third hit allowed by Matula. Chili Davis up, and he gets a 4-12, which is a ground ball catcher. It's a catcher card X. And uh, that's going to be Joe Nolan. And that's a 5. 5 and a 4 at catcher is pass ball followed by pop out. But everybody advances one. So Chili Davis is thrown out by Joe Nolan, and then Bob Melvin's up, and that's a 6-9. And 6-9 is a pop-out to first, and Melvin goes down. Melvin, of course, is playing this game, in case you didn't know, because Bob Brenly got injured in Game 1 of the series, for the rest of the series. So... They are without Brenly, and they are with um, Melvin, which is just as well. I mean, there's not much difference except Melvin is better defensively. So Roland Office will lead off for the Braves here in the bottom of the second. And he gets a 1-6, which is a single. So Dravecki not really doing a very good job here of holding these guys down. Second hit allowed by Dravecki. The first one was a big one. It was a home run by Barry Bonnell. And that brings up Jeff Burrows. He gets a 5-8, which is a fly ball to right. So he's out. Joe Nolan's up. And that's a 1-8, which is a line out to second. There's two away. Started off promisingly here, this inning did for the Braves. But now Jerry Royster, it's up to Jerry Royster, and he gets a 6-12, which is a ground ball to first base, and he's out. So no runs come in for Atlanta. We go to the top of the third. San Francisco leading off with their leadoff man, Robbie Thompson, who gets a 5-11, which is a fly ball to the left fielder. The left fielder is Barry Bonnell, and he's a 2. And that's a six. He's out. One away. Fly out to left for Thompson. Uribe's up. That's a six four, which is a home run one to fourteen. And that is going to be a home run by Uribe, who only had five that year, but he gets one here. Of course, this is the um, this is the basic game, so. You can have home runs by guys that wouldn't normally hit one. Although Matula did give up, um, well, he only gave up 14. So that's really kind of odd that he has one that big in that place. But anyway, Will Clark is up with one with one down, and he gets a 210, which is a home run. Back to back, Jacks. Will Clark goes deep. And Matula gives up another earned run, uh, another home run, and now the score is 3-2. to two. And the Giants coming back just like they did in the first game. Mitchell up, he gets a 2-5, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. He's out. And that brings up Candy Maldonado, and he gets a... 312, which is a ground ball to the shortstop, and he's out. The Candyman. 
no, that's that's Candelaria. But anyway, San Francisco does get two, so they cut the lead to one. They cut Atlanta's lead to just one run when it was three. By scoring two runs in the third. Funny how math works, isn't it? So Gary Matthews is going to lead off for Atlanta here. He gets a 1-7, which is a ground ball to third. The Sarge is out, one away. Dale Murphy gets a 1-5, which is a triple one or a single. This is the first noise that Dale Murphy's made, and it's a single. But they're just happy to see him, hopefully getting his stick back. Bob Horner up, and he gets a 6-6, six, six, which is a walk. So now Atlanta is threatening again. And you remember the last time Dravecki was in this uh, situation, he gave up a three-run home run. And there's only one out, and Bonnell was the guy who hit it, and here he is, and he gets a double and knocks in another run. So Atlanta takes a 4-2 lead, and that brings up Pepe Frias, who gets a 2-9, which is a double one to 15, is going to knock in at least the two runs, and it does, and he gets a double. And Dravecki is just getting all kinds of torched. And Roland Office is up. He gets a 5-9, which is a fly ball to center field, which is, that's two away. And that brings up Burroughs. And Burroughs gets a single one to 18. And he gets a single. So... Runners are at the corners, but now with two out. And Joe Nolan up. And he gets a 6-7, which is a single one to eight. If this is a single, it's another run. But it isn't. It is instead a line out to the shortstop. Nolan out. But Atlanta does strike for um, three more. And they are taking a 6-2 to two lead into the uh, the top of the uh, top of the fourth and Jeffrey Leonard up one four is a single neither pitcher has really been sharp here today I mean that's the sixth hit Matula has given up and Chris Spires up and he gets three five which is a single so two runners are on with no outs. Chili Davis up. He gets a 4-7, which is a single. Three straight San Francisco Giants get hits to lead off uh, the inning without Matula even retiring anybody yet. And that brings up Bob Melvin, and he gets a 5-9, which is a pop-out to short. That's the first out. And that brings up Robbie Thompson, who gets a 4-7, which is a single and knocks in a run. And now the Giants, with that, make it 6-4, to four, or 6-3, to three, and Uribe is up. He gets a 3-5, which is a fly ball left field B, which knocks in the man at third. And there's two out. And that brings up Will Clark. And he gets a 6-9, which is a pop out to first. But not before San Francisco strikes for two of their own and now makes it 6-4. And we're going to have a new pitcher... For the Giants, Dravecki will be coming out after pitching three innings. 
because the Giants would like to send this home right now. So they are going to bring in Don Robinson to pitch. Don Robinson of uh, 1979 We Are Family Pirates fame will try his luck against the Atlanta lineup, which has been pretty good today. And they will lead off with Jerry Royster, their leadoff man, just like Robbie Thompson led off, I believe, last inning. 4-9 is a fly ball to left field, one away. Royster out. Gary Matthews gets a 3-7, which is a strikeout. And Dale Murphy gets a 5-3, which is a strikeout. Murphy continues his struggles as Atlanta gets no runs there and maintains their 6-4 lead over the Giants. Um, they, I'm surprised that they're not going to take Matula out, but they haven't. And so Mitchell will face him, and he gets a 5-6, which is a double one or a single. And that is a single for Mitchell. This has been one kind of a serious offensive game. That's a tenth hit given up by Matula. Maldonado up 6-9. That is a pop out to first, one away. Which brings us to Jeffrey Leonard. And Jeffrey Leonard gets a 2-3, which is a fly ball to left. That's two away. And up steps Chris Spire, and he gets a 3-5, which is a single. And I think he got a hit last time, too. So he's got uh, he's got Matula's number, of course, so do a lot of the Giants. Chili Davis is up, and he gets a 5-7, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman for Atlanta is Jerry Royster, who's a 3. That's a 4. 4 and 3 is an out 1. And so Chili Davis is retired. Matula does give up no more runs, but he does allow two more guys on base. You have to wonder how much longer. Uh, was it Joe Torrey who was the manager of the Braves in 79? you got to wonder how much longer Joe Torrey thinks he can get away with keeping Matula out there. But Bob Horner is up right now, and he gets a 4-3, which is a ground ball to the pitcher, Don Robinson, who is considered to be a 2, and that's a 1, so that's going to be a single. That would be a, a single any kind of way. So Bob Horner with a single. First hit given up by Don Robinson. And Barry Bonnell's up, and he gets a 2-5, which is a fly ball. He's been the hero today, but right there he's out. And that was a fly ball to center field. Pepe Frias is up. He gets a 1-5, which is a ground ball, shortstop, double play. Frias hits into the double play that ends the inning and results in no runs for Atlanta. As we go to the top of the sixth, and Matula is still out there, what is Torrey thinking? Well, we'll see. Bob Melvin up, and he gets a 3-6, which is a single one or a line out to second. And that is a line out to second as you might have guessed. Robbie Thompson's up. He gets a 4-3, hitting the helmet. 4-3 is a catcher card. The catcher for um, the uh, Braves is a 4. That's Nolan. And that's a 17. 17 and 4 is, an, is a wild pitch followed by foul out. So that's 2 away. Robbie Thompson down, two away, and Jose Uribe gets a 2-4, which is a single. Uribe ripping the hit, 12th hit allowed. Usually a pitcher does not stay out there after he's given up 12 hits, but Matula's still out there going strong, 6-3. Fly ball to right, the right fielder is Gary Matthews, who is a 3. That's a 5, that's probably an out. And it is. So, um, 
Yeah, Will Clark is out on a flyout to right field. And no runs come across for San Francisco. And of course, Don Robinson, he's still out there. He had a, a lot of innings that year, 105 innings as just a reliever. So you know he can still be out there. And you got Roland Office up, and he gets a 2 6, which is a ground ball to short. So he's out. Wait, that was Roland Office, right? Yeah. Um, that brings up Jeff Burrows. He gets a 5 9 which is a ground ball second base. He's out. And up steps Joe Nolan, and he gets a 1-8, which is a line out to second, and he is gone. So no runs across there. And, uh, I mean, Robinson's pitching great, but that is going to be it for Matula. Matula, his day is over after six. I don't know who they have in the bullpen, but... Matula had given up 12 hits in six innings, so whoever it is, you got to think they can't be much worse. And they will bring in Adrian Devine. They need this win, so they're going to bring in one of their good relievers, Adrian Devine. Devine in 1979 was one and two with a 3.22 earned run average. He allowed 84 hits in 67 innings, but the ERA was good, so I don't know how that translated, but we're, we're about to find out, aren't we? As San Francisco is up at the plate with Kevin Mitchell, and he gets a 4-8, which is a single. Kevin Mitchell with a hit. Devine giving up his first hit on his first batter. Candy Maldonado comes up 4-8. That's a single again. We know that. So Candy Maldonado with a single. And they greet uh, Devine with two straight hits. Maybe a bad idea to take uh, Matula out. Jeffrey Leonard's up. He gets a 6-7 which is a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop, however, is a three, and that's an 11. 11 and three at short is an out double play. So they turn a double play with a marginal shortstop. And you gotta believe that was a good chance right there for the Giants. Now they've got two outs and a man 90 feet away. Chris Spire gets a 5-8. And that's a pop out to second. So Spire is out. And maybe that's exactly how Devine did it. I mean, he gave up two innings or two hits in one inning. Um, and a man got over to third base, but nobody scored. So Jerry Royster's up in the bottom of the seventh. And he gets a 5 9, which is a ground ball to second. And that's the top of the order there. So Gary Matthews is up. He gets a 4-6, which is a fly ball to center. And Dale, Mighty Dale, gets a 3-12, which is a line out into as many outs as possible. He continues his struggles. And Atlanta gets no runs. But they still maintain a 6-4 lead over the Giants going here into the top of the eighth. And Devine, despite the rocky first inning that he pitched, is going to stay out there to face Chili Davis, who gets a 5-8, which is a pop-out to second. Then Bob Melvin's up. He gets a 6-5, which is a walk. Melvin with a walk. Robbie Thompson's up. He gets a 5-5, five, five, which is a home run 1-5 to five or a double. And that is a home run. Home run for Robbie Thompson. Two-run shot. Devine gives up two runs. And do we have ourselves a tie game? We do indeed have ourselves a tie game with that. 
And that brings up Jose Uribe, who gets a 312, which is a ground ball. And he's out. Ground ball to second, and he's out. Will Clark is out, up, and he gets a 4-7, which is a ground ball to the second baseman, who is a 3. That's an 11, and 3 at second, which is an out with no runners, 2 away. I think that's 2 away. Will Clark, not sure, but um, I'm sure I'll hear it in the comments if it wasn't. And that's an out. Mitchell is out. He grounds out to third. So there's no more damage done even if I gave the Giants an extra out, but I know they did get two runs there. And um, so yeah. Um, that is going to be it for Robinson. As much as many innings as he did pitch that year, I think that really we need to say that that's enough for him. So three, six, seven. He pitched four four and so now someone is going to come in and that someone is going to be Craig Lefferts they really want to win this game and now that it's tied they have a chance to do that so Lefferts comes on and he will face Bob Horner first man tough task and he gets a 112, which is a ground ball plus injury. They really cannot afford that. And they are going to have to. As he is gone for the rest of the series easily. Uh, we need a new third baseman. I will put them in as a placeholder so that they're in there. But I will announce it, who it is. Um... Well, you know what they're going to do. No, I, here's uh, that's what they'll do. Barry Bonnell is up with one out. 3-3 three, three is a strikeout. So Lefferts gets a strikeout, and that brings up Pepe Frias, and he gets a 4-8. Which is a ground ball to the shortstop. Shortstop is a one. That's an eight. He's out. And the new third baseman for the Braves will be Daryl Cheney, who is a third base four. No runs for Atlanta in the eighth. We go to the top of the ninth. And that is going to be it for Devine, since he had given up the uh, tying run. They're going to go to Craig Scock. So Craig Scock comes in. And up steps Candy Maldonado to face him. He gets a 3-5, which is a fly ball to left. There's one away. So we find ourselves again in a tie game with San Francisco batting in the ninth, just like in the first game. 3-6 for Jeffrey Leonard is a single. The only difference is that... Um, San Francisco is visiting this game, so if they score, no matter how many they score, Atlanta still gets an at-bat. Spire is up, and he gets a 5-4, which is a ground ball to the third baseman. That's Daryl Chaney, the new third baseman, and he's a 4, and that's a 4, and that's not good. I'm just telling you right now, it's not good. It's a double 2. So it gets by Chaney, and Spire with a base hit. Now the infield has got to come in with one out. And Chili Davis up, and he gets a 5-5, which is a fly ball 
Center field C. Do you believe that? It holds the runners. Chili Davis doesn't fly out far enough. And that brings up Bob Melvin, infield back, of course, and that's a 4-8, which is a ground ball to the shortstop, who is a 3. And that is a 20 and a 3 at short. And that is a roll again, as I figured it would be. And that's a 16 and a 3. And that is an out. Bob Melvin making the out. No runs for San Francisco. Now Atlanta can win the game right here and then worry about their third base problems in game three if they can force the game three by getting a run right here. And Roland Office is up against Lefferts. And he gets a 210, which is a walk. So Roland Office taking the walk. Not the way Lefferts wanted to start the inning off. That brings up Jeff Burrows, who gets a 6-5, which is a pop-out to first. One away for Atlanta. And that brings up Clark, and he gets a 6-9. 6-9 is a double one to 18. And that is going to be a double. For Joe Nolan? Are you kidding me? All right, so Joe Nolan gets a double, puts runners at second and third with just one out, and so now it is, and where is my, where did the dice go? Huh. Oh, here it is. So now um, San Francisco has to do the same thing. They have to bring the infield in with only one out, and... Uh, that is right, isn't it? I believe that that's correct, yes. So they have to bring the infield in with Jerry Royster up. And he gets a 5-7, or a 4-7, which is a strikeout. So now that's two away. Royster gone. And up steps Gary Matthews, the Sarge. He gets a 4-6. The infield's back, but that's a ground ball to second. The second baseman is Thompson, and he is a 2 and that is a six. And so Matthews is out. And we got extras here. So we go to the top of the tenth. And both pitchers still out there. Craig Scott is still out there for Atlanta. And Lefferts, who pitched 92 innings himself, he's still going strong. Rob Thompson, Robbie Thompson gets a two six. That's a strikeout. So Scott has come in and settled things down. Uribe gets a 310, which is a ground ball to first. He's out. And that brings up Will Clark. And he gets a 6-6. Six, six. And that is a walk. Scott walks um, Will Clark. And that's only the third base runner to reach on Scott's watch. And that brings up Mitchell, Kevin Mitchell. And he gets a 5-6, which is a fly ball to right field. So no runs for San Francisco in the 10th of a 6-6 game. And we have um, Atlanta again with a chance to win this game. And Mighty Dale up to do it. And he gets a 1-7, which is a single. So he gets his second hit of this game and the series. But instead of Horner being up after him, it is now Daryl Chaney because um, Horner was injured. He gets a 3-9, which is a strikeout, one away. That brings up Barry Bonnell. And Barry Bonnell gets a 3-4, which is a ground ball, third base, double play. So Benel bounces into a double play. Atlanta gets no runs. They blow another chance to possibly win the game. And uh, so we go to the top of the 11th. And Maldonado up. And he gets 3-7, which is a ground ball third base A, one away. 
Maldonado is out. Jeffrey Leonard's up. That's a 411, which is a ground ball to the shortstop, and he's a three. And that's a 16 and three. I think that's probably an out, and it is. I think we, in fact, had that roll before on the shortstop. And Spire is up, and he gets a 4 6. Ground ball to second. The second baseman is a 3. That's a 14. That might be an error. It is a one base error. So Spire is on by an error by um, Royster. And with two down and a man on, Chili Davis up, 4-9. That is a home run 1-9 to nine or a double. And that is a home run for Chili Davis. And San Francisco takes a two-run lead. And that could be the straw that breaks the camel back right there. Bob Melvin up, and he gets a 1-8, which is a line out to third. But San Francisco takes a two-run lead, and now they lead 8-6, to six, bottom of the um, bottom of the 11th. And Pepe Frias is up. They were going to take Lefferts out, but now he's pitched so well that they're going to keep him out there. 1-6 with a lead, and he lines out to third. Pepe Frias is out. Roland Offis gets a 1-10, which is a line out to second. And that brings up Jeff Burrow. He can get on base, and he can hit homers, so he will bat. And he gets a 6-5, which is a pop-out to first base. Burrows is gone. And so are the Braves. And San Francisco, with that, will advance by winning 8-6 in extra innings. So San Francisco did manage to win both of the first two games. But they did it by scoring a run on the bottom of the ninth. And then be beating uh, the Braves in extra innings. So that's um, a pretty stark indictment on a team that won 90 games going up against a team that only won 66. But still, it's a win. They advance. And that is going to be it. San Francisco going to the next round. That's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.